Hey, what's going on, Rocket Powered Sound Designers? In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to recreate the main bass from Barely Live's track, Scoop, and this is what it sounds like. Yeah, I know you guys like that sound. If you like that sound, which I know you do, slap that like button. Like I said last video, don't click it. I want you guys to full out, take your hand, slap the like button. You know, I can't reimburse you if you break your monitor, but it's okay. Um, I'll supply you with serum tutorials for the rest of your life, which, come on, what else could you ask for? Um, by the way, today is my 18th birthday. I'm officially an adult today. I know, I'm an adult. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, today's my 18th birthday. Uh, I don't even know what else to say about that. Pretty cool, we're gonna get some strippers tonight. Hell yeah, no, I'm kidding. Do not condone that. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> let's start off by running some frequency modulation. What is a dubstep tutorial without FM? Am I right, guys? So we're gonna start off by going into our basic shapes and select our sawtooth waveform. Okay, surprise, surprise, we're gonna be working with uh, basic shapes here. And we're also gonna be turning on FM, like I just said. But, oh my gosh. Let's what is going on? The FM is just not working. That's because we don't have a signal to be intercepted. So turn on oscillator B, and oscillator B is now the signal. Oscillator A is now the host for the FM, and we're gonna drop oscillator B's level all the way down to 0% because we don't even want you here anymore. We don't need you, not you. We're talking to oscillator B, okay? Don't get offended by that. Please stay here, <laughs> stay watch me. I need the watch time, guys, please. YouTube's just screwing me over, please. I'm kidding, it really isn't. Uh, I'm bugging, hold on. All right, let's get back to the video. Okay, Oscillator <laughs> B is going to be a Monster 8. You know, just, I'm gonna turn off Oscillator A, turn up the level here, so you guys can just hear what we are working with. One thing that you guys are immediately gonna realize is this is kind of a vocal waveform. And you know, the sound is kind of vocal itself. So you know, it's kind of suitable to use a vocalish waveform. So guys, if you are ever trying to recreate vocal sounds, think about it. We wanna be working with a vocal waveform to some extent, for the most part, for the most part. Um, don't mark my words by that, okay? Because you know, there's some instances when that could vary. Now. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be using LFO number one, you know, to kind of shape the sound. And what I mean by that is if we guys, if we guys, yeah, if we guys, that's, that's a thing. If we think back to the original track, um, what is the shape of the sound? It goes, I know it sounds goofy because it's coming out of my mouth and I'm trying to recreate the bass from the original track, but with my own mouth, but it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just gonna try and recreate that, restructure that with the LFO tool. Yeah. Um, perfect, that's exactly kind of the shape of the sound. So we're gonna leave it around here. Uh, put it on one fourth, which is good, on trigger, so it's gonna repeat itself. And perfect, guys. Uh, I did tell you to pitch this up two octaves. I hope I told you to do that, because if I didn't, Gotta stop myself in the face. And we are going to turn up the unison to 11. So now we're gonna be putting in 11 vo uh, voices on both oscillator A and oscillator B. Guys, just take a listen. It sounds like a very, very shitty rhythm bass. I'm, I hate to say it. So what we're gonna be doing to fix that is we're gonna drop the random phase down to 0% on both oscillator A and oscillator B. And what does that do, you ask? Not only does it rhythmify the bass, but <laughs> in a more technical explanation, if you guys can see the highlighted yellow area, um, when, it's, when the random phase is all the way up, you see this whole wavetable spectrum is highlighted. You know What that means is it's going to choose any interval in any single cycle inside of this cycle. I shouldn't say cycle, um, not, I'm sorry. Let me reword that. It's gonna choose any starting point to start the waveform 
inside of the highlighted area. So the more we kind of channel this down, it's like, okay, so I'm gonna be starting it somewhere in this highlighted area. So once we start to put it down to zero, boom, the same spot every time. Now we're gonna be putting it down for oscillator A and oscillator B. And that's when we get that like very intense uh, rhythm, rhythm sound. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, oscillator A's detune is gonna go down to 0.11. That sounds a little bit more rhythmish. Now, here's when we could get a little creative. Um, you guys can choose a single point to put the detune on. You know, depending on where you put the detune on oscillator B is really kind of changes the tone. So what I ended up doing is I actually modulated this. So I'm not going to touch this right now, but we're going to get back into it, I promise. Um, so let's just put on a macro onto here and we'll just turn it down. Okay, so I'll put around halfway. All right, so we can really start to see where we're moving with the sound. Now, into the filter, we're gonna be choosing our phaser. Where are you? Phaser 24 positive. And as we start to move up the cutoff, you immediately start to realize, wow, this is for sure 100% the same filter that they used in a scoop. Shout out Barely Live, by the way. They are by far some of my favorite producers because it's two, it's a duo. All right, not just producer. Uh, <laughs> so anyways, we're going to be modulating this backwards and essentially what we're going to be doing is as LFO1 starts to head down, we want to be modulating this up. So it goes, it's like opening a mouth, opening it. So you guys see what I mean? Um, but I'm actually going to be putting this on trigger and put the rate to one half. Now, um, you guys see what I mean? Perfect. So this is what we're gonna end up doing, creating a nice little shape like this. And that actually sounds really, really accurate. We're gonna turn up the resonance. And actually we can modulate the FM down too. Okay, and we are starting to make some pretty good progress. Now, moving into the effects section, first things first, we're gonna turn on our multiband compressor. Turn the gain to about one half. Turn on the master now, because we're clipping. And of course, finish off the sound with some hyper, just a little bit. Dimension is gonna be at around 3%, and the mix is at around 36%. Okay guys, so like I said, we're gonna get back to macro one. You guys can do whatever you want for that. <laughs> it's completely up to you. I personally enjoy the sound when it's around. Right there, 0.21. That is the sweet spot for me. The sweet spot's different for everyone, so just let me know. But without further ado, guys, today is my birthday. If you guys wanna sauce me, follow on Instagram for my birthday, a little gift to me. I would appreciate that, but you don't have to. If you want, Instagram name is right here. It's at Shane Gregoire, the one and only Rocket Powered Sound founder. And without further ado, I'm Shane Grigoire, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. I love you all so much.